John, we can start with the injury update, I think. Uh, Sia and Bongi. Yeah, um, Sia unfortunately is going to be out for... So he went Vesta, he's still the specialist, he's going to be out for, I suppose at best, about eight, six to eight weeks, is the best case scenario for us. He's done a grade three MCL, um, so yeah, he's out. Uh, Bong, he's looking better than we thought, um, he won't play this week, he's going to be in the two to six week range, depending on his... Two to six weeks? Yeah, it's quite vague, still young, but um, there is a tear, I guess that doesn't matter, two and a half centimetres or something, but... Um, yeah, it could be. It could be even. It could be towards the six week. He won't definitely won't be in the frame for this week or the next couple of weeks. Um. So, so is she uh, requiring surgery or is it no, no surgery? surgery. No okay. surgery. Um. Also, step down the training session for today. Uh, What's the latest regarding him? Uh, he's sore, but he'll he'll be okay for Saturday. Uh, he's got a um. I can't stand a thoracic or something. Something over here. Is that? Do you want to go? Sure. Sure. And um. And and Yaka. Uh, Yaka's fine. Yeah. Uh, I thought that he, and Yaku was actually our biggest concern. Okay. Uh, well, not our biggest, but I mean, yeah, I think he was so good on Saturday. That's the other two. Yeah, that's the other two, yeah. But he's fine in place. And the, um, the, the Kumas, JD, and. Um, Chucky. And Yana, Yaku, yeah. are they all back? Uh, JD's not, but Chucky and uh, Kumas are back. And, but, and, and to be frank, they'll feature uh, this week. Yeah. It's, too big, it's too big forwards. We're actually quite blessed that. Not a blessing on Sia's injury, but to have people like that to call on there. And Jay should be on strength next week. It's interesting though, um, you know, they're both um, huge guys, obviously, and um, you could probably lose something with the breakdown with um, with changes that you that you have to make. Um, is it a would you move Yaku to eight or who would you play at eight then if Sia's not there and if you don't move Yaku? Sia's on eight then um, yeah, we can move Yaku there and look at Ernst Van Rijn six or your hundred toy we thought was very good when he came on. You know. Okay. I thought you mentioned Trocky though, isn't he? Yeah, that, um, look, I think for his injury he probably come off the bench. Okay. But he'll come with a bit of definite edge, yeah. We're not seeing the team on Thursday, eh? Yeah. 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 I'm going to ask you about the emotions. I mean, to, to have your captain taken out in that manner, uh, I know nothing has come of it, but uh, you know, I mean, it, you can't be happy, Chappie. Uh -uh. I thought that was, uh, to be honest, I thought that was a mean spirited game. Uh, that was not good for the tournament going forward. I don't think anything to do with the referee. It was very subtle stuff, but when we reviewed the game a few times, we, got, we were more and more angry. You know what I mean? I think Peter Steph went through quite a hard time. Um, it's quite a movement with Sia Hill hair is pulled twice. You know, I think it was, it was a, uh, we weren't happy with that game at all. We weren't happy with anything that happened, lots of stuff that happened on the field. I say, uh, Yaka worked, uh, Yaka Paper worked very, very hard uh, in that game. But, uh, you know, they seem, uh, yeah, it's, it's, um, I apparently, um, what's his name, uh, Yekatili, what's his name, how do you pronounce it? Rikini. Yeah, yeah it's apologised to Sia, but I, I, think, I think it's fair to say Sia's not happy either. Uh, you, you, given the profile of your team, you, you're going to expect that to come more often this season. Yeah, well, if, uh, if that becomes a trend, then I'd be very worried because I don't think that was a. I mean, you guys saw it yourself, so I don't think it was a very nice game or anything. Yeah, yeah. So it would be a concern for us, but we have we have chatted to 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 Lyndon Bray, and I say I don't think it was a match official issue. I think they were excellent. Um, they were excellent. Did you chat to the the hurricane coach afterwards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he, was there anything on him? Did he say anything? No. To be, that's, to be honest, to be fair, at that stage straight off the game, we didn't really know uh, some of the stuff that had happened, you know. But, uh, yeah, I think it'd be worrying if, it, if, 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 if that becomes a trend in the competition. Amazing, because, I mean, they've got such a good team. I mean, what goes through the edge to come in and that kind of thing? I mean, it's, yeah. Oh. And maybe they're not used to being dominated like this. Yeah, great. Yeah, they are a good team. It was dis disappointing. It was, yeah, I think, uh, you know, if you're going uh, you know, to, you know, Peter Steff went to his World Player of the Year, and if the way of dealing with that is cheap shots, and it's a problem, it's a problem you know. Uh, for, I don't think it's good for rugby, to be honest. Um, well, speaking of domination, uh, obviously, they do forwards at all so obviously, it's obviously uh, coming up with some balls. Um, it's also happening with a strong pack. So, do you think it will neutralize, or do you still have the 
stuff I don't know. No, we had a plan last week which, which sort of went to plan, but I think, you know, Trevor and Lisa, Cleans France and uh, Kitsi, those are the two that start from. I think there'd be a lot of pride at stake there. You know what I mean? Those are all proud competitors, all great props for really Risaho. I don't think we'll get the same return. We've got a plan, but I, I, yeah, I think it'll be a lot more, a lot tighter for us at scrum time than it was last week. To be fair, those Hurricanes were excellent. I thought they stuck in it. You know, it took us a long time to get the return. Um, but I do think uh, Trevor and Lisa are really excellent props. Yeah, that was good last week too. Yeah, and I think it's, you know, we're not going to, you know, it's not going to be quite the forward, uh, you know, Shwandre is brilliant, Andre Spurrier is a tough, tough competitor, he's a really good mall defender. So I don't think we're gonna, it's going to be harder work for us this week. In terms Isn't there the bills to, to, to maintain them? <laughs> Um, but that's the part of, you know, the, that's the way rugby's going now. I mean, there's, the, there's the overload of numbers on the small numbers is so big. You know, everybody's asking why everybody's going 6 2. But if you're asking, you've got to ask a lock, let's say Chris Bonsell, to make 25 keens, 10 carries, 10 tackles. You've got to call every line, deliver, he's got a maul, he's got a stop maul. Um, and that goes across all those because every time, everybody's, no matter what shape you're playing, everybody's 1, 3, 4, and 5 are operating between the two 15s which is where most of the action is. And so that's why um, having really good forwards on the bench is important. I think that, you know, Ali from Mark and Walker Lowe for us is a treat. No, it's, it's, sorry, Bongi's not there. Could you, from a leadership point of view, disappointing to lose here, but definitely a plus side knowing that you've got enough to, to, to carry this team through? In terms of players or leadership? Just leadership. Yeah, I mean, it's hard. You've got to look at, look at Stephen Kitts of France, my and Peter Steff to toy, you know, it's magic. Eh? Let's see what captain the team this this this, this week. And like Peter Steff will probably finish like it was last week. Yeah. You, um, you don't you don't you don't want injuries. Injuries are never nice. But when, if you're going to have them, is it better to have them for the home run? I know you want to build up momentum and all that, but it's easier to win at home maybe with a slightly under strength team than when you go touring later on in the competition. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. I mean, we wanted to have the whole hype and you know, see her leading the team, and this so it was really disappointing. Yeah, probably, we're trying to sort of reach out to the Cape Town communities and take away that captain like that is a hell of a disappointment for us. But, you know, we would have had to rest Sia uh, for three, uh, Bongi for three weeks anyway. And in this period of the injuries, if, if Bongi reaches up for a range of six weeks, we would have got, or if he gets towards eight weeks, but we certainly won by, if not two, during Sia's injury. So it's five of the weeks, you know, that means we don't have to rest them on tour or anything like that. But, yeah, yeah so that's, that's one silver lining, I suppose. Thanks for this year. Um, no, we've got one in March. Who's March? Who's the first week of March? So you, so you talk six weeks, you're talking five, five, five weeks. Okay, so you're actually talking early, early buys in a way that doesn't... Yeah, yeah. it re mitigates it to a degree. Could you talk about the resting period, resting of players? Is there a discussion that yourself and Jacques has had already? Yeah, okay, we've had, we met with Alain and Jacques. Uh, and so we've got... There's, there's, it's quite clear, I mean, it's, Regular starters, match day 23, broader squad, which got a different resting requirement. And it looks like the top figure is around three, around three games. So, yeah, so, you know, if, if we end up going on tour with Sia and without Peter Steph, that might be the, that's the deal we do. Uh, Jogo, I don't know how much analysis you've done into the Bulls Sharks game last weekend, but um, we saw them um, obviously utilize Mornay's boot quite a bit with them back in that tension or standing quite deep. Um, do you expect that same area of pressure to come this weekend? Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw much of training, but that's what we were training. Yeah. Mm. Mornay is a, like he's the way he can kick distance and contestables. It's a real th that's that's the, the ping. It's still going. That's a uh, it's a real threat for us. That. Um, I look, I wasn't into you. Were, I was, I'm not sure how wet it was. I wasn't doing. I was saying, I was saying to Norman yesterday that I think there was something wrong with the lights as well. Mm -hmm. Those hard walls are going to drop. So the lights, I've never seen. I don't know, maybe because I'm used to the Japan lights. There was an issue with the lights, but the, sorry, there was an issue with the lights. There was there were a lot of time there, wasn't there? There was a swirling wind as well. Yeah. But I, but we definitely did That's the whole thing that we're preparing for is the distance kicks. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think uh, being uh, storm as a Western province, we sometimes get sucked into trying to run too much of that back, you know, because we get the seduced by what we see as a chase line a little bit further off and we've got steppers and they won't have a go and I think we can't get seduced into that this week. Mm -hmm. We have to be a bit more pragmatic about how we attack. You know. What was nice last week was our dominance of territory you know, and that's what we have to, it's tough. Okay.
what do you think? <coughs> the last year at Newlands, is that something that's a weekly discussion within the squad? Or is it kind of just discussion ahead of season and let's go and do our thing? No, it's a powerful thing for us, I think. Uh, yeah, the guys are the guys are quite attached to Newlands, so um, I think it's something they're constantly constantly aware of. Sia was a big driver. Might change now. Sia was a big driver of it um, because you know he said he's done ten years there. But I think you know guys like you know, with Peter Stiff, Kitsy, they're all uh, you know, sort of from this region, you know. So they, I think they feel it quite a lot. Do you think the Bulls are going to? Um, revert to time in, in increasingly like they used to be. I mean, pre the Mitchell era, you see them going going down the way of you know playing around the kicking. Again. Well, I hope not. But the, um, I think what Puddy did really well last year was he kept the Mitch, he kept a large amount, and he certainly kept the, his the, that line speed on defence. That's the thing. I think they almost I think Mitch had gone, but they almost been in that Carrick Cup semi final, which mm -hmm. which was a good uh, hybrid. Unfortunately, every region's got a DNA. You know, we've got a DNA in our region, the Sharks got a DNA in their region, the Bulls got a DNA in their region. I need somebody like Mitchell to keep championing that, that if you're going to keep the full, get the full conversion. But, um, so I expect, listen, I do expect them to be more kicking based than they were, uh, um, they were perhaps under Mitch, definitely. I mean, don't re-sign more and stand to take the ball to the line the whole time, you know, that's, <laughs> that's the reality. But, uh, uh, yeah, I think Wood has kept some, some good elements of what, what, what Mitch is doing. Their line speed and the, is really good. The defense is very good. All right. All good. Thank you, everyone.